Good morning, Ali. Aaron here from LA Mazda. Jeff had asked me to uh, send you a video on this 2016 red Dodge 1500 Sport that you uh, inquired on with him. So we'll start off in the front. We got Dodge's signature front end. We got the chrome grills with the, uh, the blacked out Dodge logo. We got the black racing stripes on the sport hood. We got the bright halo headlights as well as the fog lights down their bottom. Color match bumpers. The big alloy wheels with the four wheel disc brakes. Now again we do have the Ram logo blacked out. The Hemi logo blacked out. To start on the options here, uh, Ali, we have the turn indicator mirrors. People in your blind spot, you put your signal light on, they're going to see that mirror flashing, they're going to know you're going to want to change lanes. Now we do have the remote keyless entry. So simple is one button to lock it, put your hand in there, unlocks the doors. As long as the keys are in with proximity of the door. Now on the door, have the power locks, the power windows, the power mirrors, as well as we have the folding mirror button. So if you're going to park on the side of the road, push the button, the mirrors automatically fold in for you. Just gives you that extra little bit of space and then you push it again as you can see the passenger side goes out as well. Now on the seat here, we have the power seat with the lumbar support on the perforated cloth and leather. So your butt's not going to sweat on the perforated cloth and it's not going to be cold in the winter time. But if it is cold in the winter time, Ali, we do have the heated seats and the heated steering wheel as an option on this beautiful truck. Now back over to here we have the adjustable foot pedals. I don't know if you're a short dog guy or a tall guy, but you can adjust the pedals in and out to adjust the, uh, for the length of your legs. As well as we have the tilt steering. So you pull that lever there, steering tilts up and down. Automatic headlights as well as there's a work light on the back for the box. Also on the steering we have the Bluetooth controls here as well as full menu options for the cluster. Cluster is very elegant, yet easy to navigate. On the right hand side of the steering wheel, we do have all the cruise control, as well as you can uh, change gears if you want to. You can try to dri drive it like a standard. Now on the back of the steering wheel here, we do have, that is the volume control for the radio. And on the left hand side of the steering wheel, that can change your radio stations and change you from AM to FM to CD to satellite or your auxiliary capabilities. So I'm gonna fire the truck up for you now, Ali. I will show you that there is only 50 kilometers on this truck. I'll wait for it to come up here for you to get a good look at it. There it is, five zero, only 50 kilometers. So with the uh, full function touch screen, you have the radio, you have the media connect the capabilities. You have your controls for your heated seat, your heated steering wheel, your backup camera. You got some apps there for you. Anything you're gonna need to heat, like again, your heated steer steering wheel, all that kind of stuff. Touchscreen climate controls. So you can change like the air conditioning, the defrost, your fan speed, navigation, and then you can even pair your, your iPhone or your regular uh, Android phone to this truck so you can hands-free talk. Now again, as well as with the climate controls on the touchscreen, you do have them manually down here. So again, you can change the fan speed, you can change the heat, and it is dual climate control, so your driver can have one climate, and your passenger can have another climate. And I've already showed you down here, uh, Lee, there you have the heated seats, the heated steering wheel, and your passenger heated seat, as well as the tow brake, if you're hauling a trailer, just squeeze these bad boys together and it'll engage the brakes on your trailer. Four wheel uh, drive over here, eight speed transmission. And you do have a 115 volt, volt power source here. So you can plug in some small appliance or even if you have a cell phone charger that needs to be plugged in there. Got a big storage compartment in the middle here as well as a 12 volt power source right there. Dual cup holders. Center console, we have one thin storage compartment here and it comes with the USB, the auxiliary and the SD card capabilities as well as a little bit of a uh, change holder here. Close this one, pull another lever, you get the big deep storage compartment there. So you can put all your belongings down there out of sight out of mind, right? 
One other thing we do have up here, Ollie, is the sunroof. Everybody loves the sunroof, especially when the weather's out nice like this out. Everybody's gonna want that roof open. As well as this button here, opens up the center back window. So you can get a little bit of airflow through here and not have to worry about having all the windows open. So now I'm just gonna jump into the back seat and show you how much room is back there. So Ali, I am 6'1". I had the driver's seat set comfortably to where I would sit to drive. And now I'm gonna jump in here. And look at how much leg room I have here, Ali. I got tons of leg room. I got tons of headroom. The seats are equally as comfortable back here as they are in the front. Center console folds down so we have an armrest and a dual cup holder. I'll jump out and I'll show you another feature of the, uh, the back seat here. Again, you got the perforated cloth. Seat folds up. Folds out. Oh, put the legs down here. Fold the legs out. Sorry about this, Ali. Flat storage. We'll get the passenger seat up. We will fold our legs out. Now you can lay stuff in there like lumber, hockey bags, golf bags, anything that you're gonna wanna keep dry that doesn't go in the box of the truck. Easy to fold in. Seats fold back down. And when the seats are up there, there's a little light for you. So you can see what you're doing in the back seat without having a big dome light on. So now we go to the box. Nice short box, it looks like about a five foot nine box. And again, like I said, there's the backup camera. And the one thing I do like what Dodge is doing there, all the towing electronic features are above the trailer hitch now. That way there's nothing tangled up underneath for you. Put the tailgate down here. Now we do have LED lights on the exterior to light up the box if you need to work in here again. Again, Blacked out 4x4, blacked out Dodge logo, dual exhaust. And here it is all buttoned up, Ali. 2016 red Dodge Ram 1500. Only 50 kilometers on it. This thing is a beauty. I don't imagine it's going to last too long here. Give Jeff a call at 780-986-9665. And uh, we love to work together with you and get you into this beautiful ride. Thanks and have a great day.